Every 15 seconds, another human being is diagnosed with HIV. One in seven diagnosed with HIV are unaware of the virus's presence. HIV is a lentivirus that causes acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS for short. This is a condition in humans that causes progressive failure of the immune system, allowing life-threatening opportunistic infections and cancers to thrive. At the molecular level, HIV gains access to the human helper T-cells by binding to the CD4 receptor and CCR5 co-receptor. After entering the cell, HIV uses a host of enzymes to successfully integrate its genetic material within the human genome inside the T-helper cells. Then, using the cell's own protein machinery, an army of new viral particles is produced. In fact, so many that eventually the cell can no longer hold all of them and bursts open. Current retroviral therapies for HIV infections, such as Maraviroc, rely on competitive inhibition at the site of the CCR5 co-receptor to effectively limit the binding of HIV. However, deadly infections as a result of an immunocompromised system still occur. However, in the search for a cure, a groundbreaking method uses a third-party adenovirus to edit the human genome. With this therapy, a genetically engineered adenovirus with the sequence for an HIV neutralizing protein is used to infect a muscle cell. Then, like many viruses, the adenoviral DNA is integrated amongst the human DNA sequence, and this protein can be naturally produced by human myocytes through transcription and translation. This neutralizing molecule resembling an antibody with a tail blocks both the CD4 and CCR5 binding sites on HIV, rendering the virus useless and allowing the human immune cells to take care of the rest. Currently, the best treatment is prevention, so be sure to get tested if suspected of having the infection. For more information about the structure of CCR5 and other proteins, be sure to visit the Protein Data Bank website. Thank you.